And a utility transport airplane. Yep. You gotta remember, when this airplane came online, folks, it had virtually more bombing capability than a B-17. It still was the largest single-engine aircraft designed at the time, and truly state-of-the-art. Stand on takeoff roll now, 25,000 pounds. It's the max takeoff weight of this aircraft. Over a 50 foot wingspan, a huge right on 
right in the calendar. But you see this little airplane, and you think, well, that's good, but just wait until you see what Ken can do. As we said, this is the rehearsal day. We're going to do something that a lot of pilots really love to do. But this time, we're going to go to the siren. We're going to turn this into something really interesting. You can only imagine how many landings, practice landings, and Skyraider, especially flown during Quanta, the train, and utility missions, could have made back then. Well, we're going to demonstrate what a touch and go is here with the Skyraider. Simply a landing, followed by an immediate takeoff. You'll see the Skyraider as it sets up here for this particular maneuver. Of course, this aircraft, a carrier-based aircraft, you can imagine how short it could land if it needed to. Today, not in that configuration, though. This will be just a standard touching and go, landing and takeoff sequence. We saw him taxiing out earlier. That's uh, one of the Thunderbirds down there in the end. The, the tub, they affectionately they call it the two seat F 16. He's going to be launching here for an incentive ride, the ride of a lifetime. Somebody's going to actually get to fly with the Thunderbirds down there. We'll see him in the back seat as he comes over here. And just watch him because I guarantee you he's going to have a smile on his face. Might not be able to see it up in the back, but it will certainly be there. That's going to happen right after we do the touch and go here with the Sky Raider, the A1E, lining back up now. You can just imagine this airplane doing exactly this back in the 1960s as it operated from this very runway. Here it comes back in now on final approach. Gear down, flaps are down, everything looks good. Checking the winds here. Dan, of course, probably not feeling an awful lot in that big and heavy Sky Raider compared to Sean Tucker flying the, the beautiful Dream Machine biplane that was flying earlier. Dan still has the wing down. You can see just everything textbooks here as he brings the Sky Raider gently back down to this touch and go right All right, there we go. Dan powering back up now. We'll see it start to roll out. He's on the go. So we're told to touch and go. See the tail come down, it's kind of a bit There you go. All right, he's getting ready to launch. Here comes uh, the Thunderbirds. Two-seater now, the right hand of the field. Number eight, giving the incentive right today. It's on takeoff for your United States Air Force Thunderbird number eight. Yeah. 
glad you're here today for the marketplace. It's our rehearsal day here at the 2012 Rhode Island National Guard Open House Air Show. So it's going to be a great day here tomorrow and Sunday. We're so happy that you're all out here helping us celebrate not only our military history, but our aviation history as well. The most important thing we can all do, of course, is help promote this, this passion that we all have for flight, for our preservation of history to our younger folks. And so if you're out here tomorrow and you're planning on bringing somebody with you, why not throw the kid in from next door and bring them down here with you? Let everybody experience this tomorrow and Sunday. It's going to be a grand event. And of course, perfect weather. Starting to taxi you back in here in just a few moments. The Kent Beach, the Jelly Belly aircraft, the Interstate Cadet will be taking these guys. It's already up there circling, getting a good look at the place. You'll see him, he almost looks like he's hovering right above the field over there. 